Hello there, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Madam Shaza and I teach science for Form 1, Form 2 and Form 3 at Sekolah Berdengar Sains Tuanku Munawe. In today's lesson, we are going to learn about the limitations of sight and limitations of hearing. There are several factors that affect our sense of sight and hearing such as limitations of sense, defect in the sensory organs, as well as the aging process. Our sensory organs have its limitations. We cannot see objects that are too far away such as the stars and the planets, as well as objects that are too small to see with our naked eye. And there are other limitations too such as the optical illusions as well as blind spot. Limitation of the sense of sight Limitation of the sense of sight is the ability to limit the eye to see the object. Our eyes cannot see through objects that are not transparent, very far away and very tiny and we also cannot see around corners. Other than that, there are also optical illusions and blind spot. Optical illusion occurs when our brain cannot interpret accurately what is actually seen by our eye. Meanwhile, we cannot see objects if the image is formed on the blind spot. These are the examples of optical illusions. Let's have a look at image A. Which line is longer, PQ or RS? It seems that the line PQ is longer than I It seems that line PQ is longer than line RS. This is because the two arrows at the end distract the object. Due to the distractions of the arrows at the end, our brain cannot interpret the image accurately. Now, let's look at image B. Which spot in the center is larger, spot X or spot Y? At the first glance, spot Y seems larger than spot X. Because of the spots that surrounds the spot Y, it makes the Y look bigger compared to X. Now, let's look at image C. Are the sides of the square straight or curved? Again, when I first look at this image, the lines look curved. This is because the brain is unable to accurately interpret the object seen by the eye due to distractions around the object. This is another example of optical illusion. If you look at the image, the image seems moving. But actually, they are not. Here's another example. As you can see, there are black boxes with white spots in between them. But when you look at the spots on the left side, you notice that the spots on the right will become black. But when you look at the spot on the right side, the spots on the left side become black. This is what we call optical illusions. Now let's investigate the blind spot. This image is taken from your textbook. First, if you have your textbook with you, hold your textbook with your right hand and straighten your arm. And then, cover your left eye and look at the cat with your right eye. And then, you move your book slowly towards your eyes. At some point, you will notice that the bird is disappearing. Why? This is because the image of the bird actually fall on the blind spot of your eye. Hence, you cannot see the bird. So today, you have learned about limitations of sight, such as optical illusions and blind spot. See you again in our next lesson.